Napoleon Hill describes the seven rules for success. So yeah. can you walk us through some of the key points? Once upon a time, no, let me give you. <laughs> <laughs> in in the, the seven rules, here we go. First rule, you must believe in yourself. You must cultivate self-confidence. Could there be anything more obvious than that? No. Um, and by the way, belief has five parts in sales. You got to believe you work for a great company. You got to believe you offer great products and services. You got to believe you're a great person. You got to believe you can differentiate yourself from your competitor, not compare. If you compare, it's price. If you differentiate, it's value. Okay. And the fifth and the most important is you have to believe that the customer is better off having purchased from you. And you can't believe it in your head. You have to believe it in your heart. Mm -hmm. Head is attached to price. Heart is attached to wallet. Jerk on the heartstring, wallet comes popping right out of that back pocket. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Got kids? Yep. What's their closing ratio? <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yep. Okay, cool. The second is you have to cultivate enthusiasm. And enthusiasm by itself is one thing, but if you do it right, it's contagious. The third is you got to be honest. He says it's so self-evident that it's just a short piece, but you would be amazed at how many people lie. Right. I'm um, not going to talk about politics, but <laughs> everyone in politics is pretty much a liar. And then you want your kids, now, I want you to see how the government works. Yeah. Uh, no. Fourth, you must practice self-denial. In other words, get rid of the things that are wasting your time and focus on the things that will help you become successful. Fifth is you have to use your own willpower. No one's going to come in the morning and go, come on, Kelsey, you can get out of bed now. It's time to get up and be successful. You can do it. Get it's, on the treadmill. <laughs> it's up to you. It's yeah, up to you. Exactly. And, um, I wrote the Little Red Book of Selling, and the first chapter is kick your own ass. Mm -hmm. Because no one's going to come in and go, come on, Bob, you can get to work on time. It's not, you're not like a one-year-old walking to your dad or your mom. It's like real life. Sixth, you have to be unselfish. In other words, you have to be a giver. You have to be a benevolent person. And you look at the people that are most successful on this planet right now, they're givers. Every single one of them is either a philanthropist or, or a, a giver. And seventh, you must concentrate all your efforts in all your work. In other words, if you're not willing to put everything into it, don't start. This, this is not a one toe in the water, let's see how cold it is. This is jump in with your shorts, figure out how to swim, get to shore, and look around when you get there because you've done it yourself. Mm -hmm. I did it. That's the whole deal. I did it. And, uh, you know, these seven rules, are, they're so obvious. There's nothing in here going, wait, Jeffrey, can you go back to rule five? No, no. These are obvious. But here's the secret. If you combine them, you win. If you only do six or s five or six out of seven, you're not going to win. Okay. You have to do all seven. Cool? Yeah. But they are pretty just... They're obvious. Yeah. They're I mean, they're, they couldn't be more obvious. And people are going to look at this and go, wait, it's too obvious. No, no, it's not too obvious. It's real. It's so obvious you're going to overlook it. Right. And still have a car payment. Right. Well, there are, and there are so many distractions now, as, 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 we, as we said, of, of other things that you think at the time are important. But I at concur. the end of the day, if you, if you stay on the course.